Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we have Happy Bail, which is always the best days. So, Rue La La had a sale recently. It wasn't like a sale, okay? The, the prices weren't any different, but they had a bunch of new pieces, I should say, drop, um, and not new pieces. Okay, rewind, start over. Rue La La, the fabulous website, had a bunch of retired pieces, pieces that are retiring, harder to get pieces, show up on their website recently, and I got a few of them. Now, nothing super duper rare or exclusive, but things that I've had my eye on, I got two pieces in my box. And then my mom, who's a newer collector, she only has two bracelets. Um, no, she has three now, she just started a Christmas bracelet. Um, but she doesn't have nearly as many charms as I do. And she prefers the gold or shine charms whenever possible. Um, she actually made an order. She has already opened hers and put it in this Pandora box. So since I only got two pieces, I asked her if I could show her haul as well. I've done that a couple times. I figure there's no reason for me to ever show just my haul. If she's ordering things, we might as well show both. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, jump right into the video, open my box, open her box. I will try to put, of course, as always, the names of all of the charms up on the screen. And, uh, and I'm excited. I have no idea what she ordered, but I know she said it was at least five or six things. So let's see. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set mom's box aside because I want to open mine. <laughs> So like I said, I only bought two items and one of them you've already seen because it is a duplicate, but if you've never opened Rula Law, it has these guys, has your shipping label, it has all kinds of like goodies and or coupons usually. Sometimes they're good, most of the time they're funky. But, you know, okay, and then our beads. So here's the first one, and here's the second. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so zoom you guys in and give you a look. The first one here is the rose gold. Let's say, I think this is one of the Dahlia pieces. It's an open works charm. And this is one that I already have. Um, but I bought it when it was on clearance sale, when it was being retired a couple years ago and I love it and I did not expect to love it, but my store, when I finally bought it, I only had one. And so ever since I have been on an unofficial hunt for a second one, I love it. But I showed you this charm when I showed you my entire rose gold collection, I am always getting the question, does Pandora rose last? Does it fade? Does it tarnish? Here's our hallmarks. And so I filmed a whole video. I showed you my entire rose gold Pandora collection. I told you which charms are from what years. I showed you all the wear and tear and gave you my honest opinion on if it's worth it and if I would continue to buy it, which obviously the answer is yes. There are some caveats to that, but I'm very excited to have this piece. Um, now I can have one on either side of my bracelet. So the second piece I bought, and this is my main reason for the order, was the oversized butterfly clip charm. And it's not a clip that I know of, but there are two versions of this charm. One is a pendant and one is this guy. And I do believe he is threaded, which is good because he is a big boy. So I have been searching for this guy for a while for my butterfly bracelet that I'm working on. And I saw it on Rue La La 
in December, but I only saw it after it was sold out. There's our hallmarks. I'm so sad and I did a still want it request and obviously I did not succeed. So when I saw this on Rula Law this time, I bought it immediately. It has those four CCs on the wings. It's so pretty. So when I first saw the sale, and again, it wasn't like a, a price sale. It was just a charm sale. Um, I jumped on to see specifically if this clip charm was back in stock. And it was. It said there was three left. I bought it. I called my mom to say, hey, Rula Law has new pieces dropped. Go check them out. And by the time she got on to check it out, like a minute later, this guy was already sold out. So if you are looking for him and you see him, go quickly. He will not be there long. But he looks to be in perfect condition. The CZs are amazing. And of course, Rula Law is an authorized dealer of Pandora. So wherever they get their pieces from, whether it be Pandora or independent shops, I'm not 100% sure. They're always true Pandora. So these are the only two pieces I bought. I literally have 10 other pieces in my cart right now that I am not buying. I've been thinking about buying. Now, obviously this guy, if I let him go, is going to fall. Imagine when he's on your wrist, he will stay up because he can't, the wings will keep him from flipping. We'll find out. <laughs> he's very, he's a very sturdy charm. Um, I have the oversized bow as well, but I still haven't figured out what to do with him. Either way, I'm very excited. I'm so excited to put this guy on my bracelet. But before we do that, let's open mom's box. Da -da -da! So obviously this is just a box mom put everything in. It came in a Rula Law box for her as well, but she probably recycled that ASAP. So, okay. So she bought Shine. This is a sh Shine charm. I believe this is the Grains of Wheat charm maybe. Again, I'll put all the names on the screen. Um, oh, we have a Sparkly Shine heart clip. It's a clip, right? Yeah, that's a clip. Very sparkly. We have two of the gold love pods. These are spacers, which I am not surprised she bought these because I love my rose gold ones. I'm literally wearing them right now on an O pendant. Mom bought me these for Christmas. And once she saw them in person and I showed her what they look like, she was like, oh man, I wish those came in the shine. And I was like, they do. So I was not surprised she got these at all when they were available. And then, okay, these are a little surprising. She doesn't typically buy silver. Um, she bought two blue spacers, but she's been loving spacers since I've been showing her some of mine. And as we know, they just, they, they do make spacers still, but they're not nearly as good as they used to be. They, uh, they used to have a whole, whole collections of amazing spacers. They are underappreciated and undervalued. So let's go ahead and open these, but, uh, she doesn't usually do silver. I'm assuming these are for her Christmas bracelet because she got several Christmas charms that have blue in them for that bracelet. And it is the only bracelet she does silver on, so... Go figure. Let's open these babies up. Right. Let's do the blue spacers first since they're the only non gold pieces that she bought. They are really pretty. I've looked at these a couple times, but I've never seen them in person. And I didn't think that the blue really went all the way around and it does. So maybe I need these. I, I love spacers. There's our hallmarks. Let's see if we can get a close-up shot. I don't know why my camera is not focusing properly right now. There we go. Does it say anything on the other side? No, clean on the other side. And just the two hallmarks. So 
that is it. I do think they are, they're not threaded per se, but they do have just the channel of the silver on the outside and the gem on the inside. So probably they'll slide on your bracelet normally, but hard to say. But look at that. They have the rivets, every other one, and then the wide gems. So they're very interesting. I thought they would be very like geometrical with them being, what is that, a hexagon? Um, but they, they just read as pretty blue gems. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Good choice, Mom. These might not make it back in her bag. Can you imagine? She'd never let me borrow her box for another unboxing. <laughs> they better bake it back in the box. Okay, so let's do the other spacers next. And again, these are the... All right, let's do the other spacers next. So again, these are the Love Pod spacers. They are the gold version. They have the CZs on every Love Pod. I love how they connect. I, again, with the geometrical, these are the opposite. I thought these would be too asymmetrical, but I saw them on someone's bracelet and I just, I loved how pretty they are. And they're just a little sparkly just a little sparkly and they fit so pretty around um, other beads. Let's see. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Just a little sparkle. This is a lot of sparkle, but you know what I mean. The spacers are just a little sparkle. So I love these. Honestly, with spacers like this, I would even go so far as to say <laughs> four of them would not be unwarranted because you can just put them on just about anything and they'll fit in. All right. So there are the hallmark up at the top on the underside of the top love pod. And as you can see, it is very faint in that gold. It is engraved and dented. So there you go. Two love pots. I'm not sure exactly what this is called, but I will look it up. It is a clip. So if you are looking for a clip, this would work. But I believe mom is just going to be using it for a charm. She loves hearts. I think her shine bracelet is almost exclusively hearts and bees at this point. She also loves to garden. If you've watched any of my gardening videos, you know that. But it is very pretty. Let's open it up because I would assume the entire outside is CZs. So I would assume that the hallmarks are inside. My nails are all short and useless right now. All right. Inside the lid, we just have the bits of the CZs. And there's the hallmarks right on the clasp. They are also engraved or indented, whatever you want to call it. But they are definitely there. And then the bottom side just has the clasp. It is a very pretty um, clip if you're looking for clips, but I think that's why it works as a charm. Even if you're not necessarily looking for a clip, it would totally work as a charm standing alone. All right, last but not least, we have this guy, which is the, I believe it's grains of wheat charm, but I could be making that up. It's something about wheat. You can see the wheat all around. It has the CZs. It looks like baseball, a baseball to me, but it's not. Rivets. It has a lot of really pretty um, details. And it is an open works charm, which is nice. I love open works charms because they're just nice. And there's all our hallmark. I'll get it to focus. The shine pieces are hard to read those hallmarks, but they are definitely there. It is very pretty. So grains of wheat. 
heart. Now the heart, as you can see, is going to be a flipper, but you could easily add, um, if you're adding it to a clip station, that's gonna be less of a problem. Or you could add a silicone stopper to it and that will keep it from flipping. So all together, interesting haul between the two of us. But that's kind of how it rolls with me and mom. You never know what we're going to get. There we go. Gang's all here. I love it. You can definitely tell which ones are mine. <laughs> uh, we could just split it right here. Right, mom? Right? All right, y'all, if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I am going to be reworking my butterfly bracelet, um, which is my spring class bracelet from last year, and my fairy garden bracelet um, to A, accommodate this guy on the butterfly bracelet, and B, my fairy garden bracelet that I showed recently. Um, it's just, it has so many. I showed it in my new Tinkerbell charm video and it has so many charms that no matter what I do, it just feels so tight. It's going to hurt the charms. Like it's going to rub off the hallmarks or, you know, the plating on the charms, something. So I'm thinking I'm going to move at least two charms from my fairy garden charm bracelet to the butterfly charm bracelet. And this would be a good time to do that. So maybe I will rework those bracelets on camera. If you would like to see that, leave a comment down below. If not, I will show you the finished bracelets once they're done. But if you want to see the process of how I actually like go through and look at the charms and reposition them, let me know and I will try to do that for you. Either way, I hope you liked this haul. If you've never checked out Rue La La before, I apologize because now you're going to want all the things. Bye, y'all.